Do you see Uber operating a fleet through, through a REIT and then allowing you and I, perhaps we call it autonomy markets fleet, and we put our vehicles on the network as well? I mean, look, this is something Elon's talked about that most people have considered a pipe dream or Elon just being Elon. The concept of you own your Tesla, it leaves your garage or your driveway and goes out and services drunk people in the middle of the night. <laughs> Hopefully someone cleans it and then it comes back and you earn revenue from your car. When he said that, everyone just laughed, yada, yada, yada. But like, to your point, parse what Dara just said on the call, and then hopefully there'll be some kind of individual ownership as well of people, small businesses. That is it, right? If you're individually owning a car that's in autonomy, like you're literally validating what Elon said. And that as always, because at any point of the Elon cycle, it's like, oh, Elon said he's such a, you know, whatever, blah, 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 crazy of him to say something. And now I think you have to kind of think again, can that be part of the long-term strategy? And if it is, that's how maybe other fleets, if they can get individual ownership, can not necessarily have as many cars as Uber and Lyft have today in their network, if they can rely on other individually owned autonomous cars that are out there, whether it's Tesla or other cars, their license, maybe Waymo licenses their technology to an OEM and those individual people can plug into a network. So it's fascinating. I still think it's longer term. I still think it's a little crazy <laughs> for the reasons we talked about, but you can't now deny it as an impossible future possibility for this industry. And it gives Uber what they need more than anything, fragmentation. They're going to get it. Yeah. I mean, that's Obviously, that's that that's what they need the most for sure.